Supporters of the man who led Georgia for just eight months gathered for a memorial service a day before his remains are buried once and for all in Grozny, capital of the Chechen Republic. Gamsakurdia's body was buried in a remote Georgian village. But in order to prove that these were indeed the remains of Georgia's first elected president, the rotting corpse had to be exhumed. A bullet wound to the head did little to prove whether he committed suicide or was murdered. Gamsakurdia's corpse has been flown to Grozny, where, following an armed rebellion, he was forced to live in exile. When his death was announced, his grieving widow said Gamsakurdia had taken his own life. She now insists he was murdered. The present Georgian government, led by the former Soviet foreign minister, Edward Chevanadze, denies any part in his death.